Lucas Media. Man, whatever, bro. I'm looking at this article. I meant to make a video about it. Boxing News 24. But it's saying that Jamal Charlo's rumored to be Canelo Alvarez's next opponent on May 4th for Amazon Prime. Now, Canelo fought Jermel Charlo last September on pay-per-view when he moved up. When Charlo, Jermel, moved up two weight classes to fight Canelo, people wanted to see him fight David Benavidez. Then, he turned it down and he ended up fighting Charlo. Look, this video ain't got to be that long. Come on, Canelo, man. Really? You gonna, you gonna beat... What do you prove out of beating both Charlo brothers? And this is the problem with boxing right now. Bad business. Y'all wanted Canelo. And I'm talking about the PBC. Y'all wanted Canelo that bad that you will... Almost in a way sacrifice the Charlo brothers to please Canelo. But you have somebody in your stable and David Benavidez that the people want to see fight. And it could be around Cinco de Mayo. Really? Y'all don't want to see that? Or y'all not going to force Canelo to do that? And I did see an article where Canelo said he's going to have to wait his turn and I do what I want. PBC, are y'all really getting a return on y'all investment with this? Instead of y'all giving Canelo this 50-something million dollars, y'all can break that down and give it to the fighters and let's see the fights we want to see. Give it to Keith Thurman and give it to, I don't know, whoever else at 154. Let them fight. But to see Canelo fight Jamel Charlo, now Jamal Charlo, and Jamal only fought one fight in the last couple of years, and that wasn't even a 12 round. I believe it was a 10 rounder. So, y'all. Why? Like, the problem with boxing. We don't... Why? Both of y'all are in y'all prime, Canelo. The fight... Everybody will buy this fight. Everybody. The pay-per-views will easily clear over a million, in my opinion. Maybe even two million. To have two superstar Mexican boxers fight on Cinco de Mayo. Then what? September gonna roll back around. You're gonna make up some other excuse. Uh, you're going to try to fight Crawford, which I'm somewhat okay with that fight. Or you're going to try to fight another, um, I don't know, uh, Leon Smith. Or you're going to have Tevin Farmer move all the way up from 135 to 140 to 168 or whatever weight class you're going to be in. But you've been doing a lot of cherry picking, man. And I get it to a degree. But it didn't got so bad to where a superstar fight. Like, why are y'all afraid to lose? See, you tried to cherry pick Biv, uh, uh, Bivol, and he beat you. And then after that, you kind of went back in your shell. But what happened to fighters fighting the best? If you beat Benavidez, Benavidez which you got a really good chance of doing, guess what? You got another uh, uh, notch on your belt. Even if you lose a Benavidez, you got a Hall of Fame first ballot career. Can't nobody take that from you. But no, you want to fight a, a Jamal Charlo who only fought one fight in over two and a half years and who really still battling his own issues. So like I said, this ain't got to be a long video, man. This is the unfortunate sport of boxing. I just want to get my two thoughts on it. What do y'all think?